colleges and universities going virtual for the fall. This seems like a natural fit. It is called Labster, a program filled with virtual science labs. A number of local schools have signed up for this service, from George Washington University to most public universities in Maryland. Dr. MJ Bishop of the University System of Maryland says while it's no replacement for hands on experience, this is a way to get students thinking about working in a lab environment, prepared for hybrid learning, and when they can return to labs. The opportunity to get students engaged in um, understanding some basic lab skills, understanding some of those um, techniques, so that when they came to campus for a lab-based experience, first they would be there for less time, they could, they could go, few and, go through in fewer numbers, so to help with the de-densifying issues, um, and hopefully also improve learning outcomes. Labster was created in Europe and is typically meant to supplement science classes. Simulations include biology, chemistry, physics, the list goes on. Really, it does look pretty cool, kind of like a video game. I spoke with a student and professor at Bowie State University where some classes have already used this program. And while they say it's impressive, there's also a lot of concern about how long the pandemic will go on and how much of an impact distance learning will have on this next wave of scientists once they graduate and enter the real world. But I had to do with genetics and we were sorting through DNA mole molecules and different cells and it was really interesting. They had the whole lab set up and they had um, like the equipment that we would use in our regular labs. We also see the benefits of virtual lab within in the circumstance in which we have found ourselves. How are they going to relate with real life experience when they go out? That's the big question. And um, it's like an experiment. So maybe in two years' time, uh, you and I will begin to see the impact. Dr. Uday there believes that virtual labs are here to stay even after the pandemic, though, as a supplement to hands-on learning because they provide students with unlimited resources and attempts at experiments. There is also no threat to actually blowing up a lab or anything like that. But he says that we all need to keep the social distancing up so that we can get COVID-19 behind us and get this next crop of doctors and scientists back in person.